All right, today I'm going to give you a quick overview of this GoWise USA uh, air fryer. And uh, this is, despite the appearances, a, a fairly simple appliance. Now, the what this appliance does is basically try to cook items that you would normally cook uh, in a frying pan, um, in, in frying in a deep fryer or in a, in a frying pan with oil and tries to cook them uh, instead with a circulated hot air. So it's not too far removed, say, from something like a convection oven, but it's a more of a single purpose device. So this is the item right here. Uh, if you look around it, there's nothing much interesting to see. Got a vent in the back. You have a plug. Plug is about three feet long, so it's not particularly long, and they generally don't recommend you use an extension cord with these things, so they're hoping you're going to use it in your kitchen near an, uh, an outlet. All right, so to use this, all you would do is take this pan, which is provided, and most of this is plastic. If you listen to this, the outer part of this is plastic. Um, this is this outer part here is plastic. The inner part, the pan, is thin metal. It's probably aluminum with a non-stick coating. And if you wanted to use it, first thing you would do is take this uh, platform, this this, this uh, and just uh, with, with the perforations, and you just stick it in the bottom of this pan. This comes with it. That just keeps your food from being at the bottom of the pan, so air can, can circulate from underneath the, the food. And then you just stick it in this, stick it in the drawer there. And when you do, everything lights up. Now, um, and if you pull it back out, everything light goes out. So in and out, lights on, lights off. All right, so this looks like there are a lot of buttons, and this is going to be kind of difficult to learn. The truth of the matter is that there's a lot of redundant uh, behavior with these buttons, and you really don't have a lot of uh, functionality here. You have a lot of the same functionality. In other words, uh, you have roast, you have grill, you have dehydrate, air fry, reheat, um, and what uh, bake and broil. Now, what most of these different buttons do is just change the amount, the, how hot it's going to run, which you can adjust over here, and how long it's going to run, which you can adjust over here. So if we start with air fry, which is really going to be your primary use of this, uh, it's going to set it to 400 degrees and running for 15 minutes. If you want to adjust that, you can turn down the temperature by just hitting this button here uh, to whatever you want. Uh, the maximum this will go up to, if you'll see here, is 400 so it doesn't go hotter than 400 and then over here we can change the amount of time so it starts at 15 we can go down to whatever we want or we can increase the number of minutes it's going to run over there so um, if I went to grill instead that's going to set it up to be 370 degrees and uh, uh, 20 minutes but again I could change that to 400 degrees in 15 minutes by just using the adjustments here so so these different functions are really <laughs> you know shortcuts to do things you could do if if all they provided was the you know, the temperature control and the and the and the time control you could do all the same things you do with all these buttons so there's really not an, a lot of additional functionality here uh, there's also a reheat button and that's going to set the temperature for uh, 320 degrees and uh, for five minutes um, you have a uh, keep warm button which keeps the temperature at uh, 320 well we'll take this trick off the reheat so that that sets the uh, time to 30 minutes and the temperature in that case is 180 degrees so again all these things are are similar functionality uh so when i first got this i looked at this guy's oh, gonna take me a long time to learn honest truth doesn't take very long to learn at all because there really isn't a lot of huge functionality and this is your on off button so that turns it on and we can turn it back off there so um so that's about all I have to show you here. One last thing, I guess, is that in addition to this little pan, this, this pan that goes at the bottom that keeps stuff off the ground, they also provide you with three of these stackable, uh, stackable trays. And these stackable trays are optional. You don't have to use them, but it allows you to get more food that's not sitting on top of, you know. So if you have a bunch of stuff in here and you want to keep it from, from you know, glob globbing on top of one another, you use these stackable trays. You stick those in there. And then you can put it in the, the deep fryer with the stackable trays and the food on the trays. So that is really 
all there is to this. It's it's just a fan and a heater. And in the next part of this video, I'll actually show you how it works with some frozen French fries that I'm going to try it out with. So I'm in the kitchen now with this appliance. And one thing I want to point out is this thing is big. I mean, really big. You can see that behind it, I've got a Keurig machine. I've got my toaster oven. And you can see it's pretty much considerably taller than either of those and it's pretty large in terms of its diameter too so this is going to take up a lot of counter space you may be one of the lucky people that has enough counter space you can put small use appliances or, or nominal use appliances on your counter space i think a lot of people are going to consider this an appliance that goes into the basement or the pantry except in the times when you're using it okay so there's there's the appliance um, i bought some some french fries to test this out store-bought french fries now uh, i chose these french fries rather than the thin ones which i normally buy because i wanted to try something with a little more meat to it uh, these kind of french fries i actually like crinkle cuts but they tend to turn out pretty mushy when you cook them in the oven uh, unless you overcook the outsides and then and then they you know then they're then they're not that pleasant anyway so the question is can this you know air fryer deal with this kind of french fries so that's what we're going to do we're going to put a bunch of those in the deep fryer fire this thing up or the air fryer and see how we go so there is i put the uh, insert in the bottom of the air fryer i'm going to pour some, pour some french fries in here so we're going to make the whole bag uh, which is kind of a waste because i'm here alone but I'm going to make the whole bag just to test out how this thing can do it. So, so there's all the French fries. It's in the, it's in the air fryer. I'm not adding any oil here now. And, and generally speaking, you will not add oil to this thing. It's, a, it's an air fryer. It's not a deep fryer. It doesn't need oil to cook most things. So, so I've got the French fries in there. All I have to do now is, pull, is put this in the, uh, put it in the machine. And I'm going to go with the air fry mode and i have 15 minutes at 400 and we're going to push start and you can hear that the fan start up there and we're on our way and about halfway through i'm going to open it up and shake it around a little bit to move the fries according which is just according to the the recipe that uh, or the directions that they provide in the uh, simple cookbook that they they give you so i'm about halfway through and i'm going to pull it out now to uh, shake it around. You see it turns itself off while I do that. It's doing a little, little, little uh, french fry dance there. Getting the french fries. And the pot is nice and deep so you can you kind of do this without, uh, you know, any, taking too much care because they're not popping out of there. All right. So far, this is what they look like. Yeah, they look like uh, fries on their way to being cooked. Let's stick that back in. And uh, it just starts itself right back up. And we're still at eight minutes. So, so it remembered where we were, and we stuck it back in. It just continues on the program. So I will come back when uh, they're done cooking. We'll see how it goes. And we're getting close to the end here. Uh, less than a minute, I think, left to, to cook. So we'll just let that uh, keep going there, and we'll should be should be done soon. One thing you'll notice is that you see a little bit of a little evaporation out of the side of the basket. So that's just moisture coming off. I guess it's probably because it's it's making an okay seal. Now you can see that we've we've uh, we're done, and we're now we're now in the uh, it beeps a little bit for us, and now we're in the keep warm mode where it'll stay for 30 minutes. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so far, looks like French fries. It's hot. So let's put it on a metal counter here. And uh, these are hot, but let's see how that tastes. Mmm, pretty good, I have to say. So, uh, hold on a minute, I will... Taste a few more of these and give you the, the final thumbs up or down. All right, so I tried a couple of these fries when I reused the recommended 15 minutes at 400 in the machine. Um, they were a little soft for my liking. I like a fairly crispy fry. I know some of you might like a soft fry, and then that might be your cup of tea. So I actually wound up putting these in for another eight minutes. 
and by doing so you can see I've got them there they're golden brown on the outside and you can't taste them but if you could you'd see that they are actually pretty pretty good sorry about that couldn't resist so this is quality fry if I got served this fry in a uh, diner whatever I would say yep it's a good fry um, got myself a little barbecue sauce here for for dipping which I'll put out on the table and I would say if you have never uh, dipped into barbecue sauce rather than than, than ketchup uh, you're missing out so these are good very happy with them I would easily recommend this to somebody who wants to you know to get a, 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 a restaurant quality fry at home without any fuss and muss uh, the other thing I like is that this pan is quite good. Like you can see how there's a lot of open space in there, right? These fries are only taking up a modest amount of the room in there, and that's two pounds of fries. That's a full bag of fries. So you can put a lot of food in here. Some of these air fryers are quite small, and you have to do multiple batches just for one family. This is not going to be that problem. You're not going to have that problem with this. So overall, I'm actually quite happy with the air fryer for what what I'm using it for uh, it comes with a booklet of recipes and honestly uh, let me just uh, show you that here you get this booklet and you go through it it's got all these recipes for stuff you can make honestly most of the stuff in here strikes me as well I've got the air fryer already what else can I do with it sort of recipes um, it doesn't seem to me that air fryer might be the best solution for a lot of the things you might make with it in this booklet but for things that you would where you would think oh this would be better and deep fried this I think is going to be you know quite quite a suitable solution so thumbs up and uh, thanks for listening